Hi, and welcome, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you for the likes and new subscribes, for the positive energy, for sharing also. So, Sagittarius, this is going to be a collective reading for mid-May 2021 for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Sag, this is going to be a pivotal point in your life. You have a lunar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius, the first one of the year 2021, taking place on the 26th of May in this reading at 10 degrees. You know how 10 is. So think about 10 years ago. Who were you with 10 years ago? What were you doing? Where were you in your life? Look at the accomplishment you've made in 10 years. How far have you come? So there's a connection here because this is a love reading. The person that you could have been separated for for 10 years, somebody here is a pivotal point. We're clearing the number that's bringing in new beginnings. Now, Sagittarius, we're doing this reading today on May 14th, 2021. 555 Gateway Portals in this reading today coming out. Most of the readings, 555. Talking about big changes, big moves. Letting go, Sagittarius, and making big boss moves. This could be a spiritual awakening for a lot of you also because, Sagittarius, you rule the house of religion and your psyche, your, your spirituality. Could be major moves here in your life that you're making, so it could be in any area right now. I'm also hearing about it's an alignment to the sun is entering Gemini. The North Node is in Gemini right now. The Sun will be in alignment with five degrees of Gemini. The five degrees will be in your sign, the lunar eclipse with the full moon. So we got the five, five portal here. We also have Sagittarius, the South Node, North Node activation here of what we need to let go of. Moving into that North Node is what you came here to do. Aligning with the divine purpose, Sagittarius, of what you came, your sole purpose to do here on this planet. Four of Wands was at the bottom of the deck. This is your energy, Sagittarius. This is divine interception from the hand of God. Are you seeing number 1111? Because you're called. Are you answering the call? Ding, 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 ding. 1111, it's time to answer that higher calling that you have here, Sagittarius, with the Four of Wands. Now, Four of Wands does also carry the vibration of harmony in your home. This could be a new home, Sagittarius, or bringing in a new energy here of fire energy, passion, creativity, new blessings here, celebration. It also has marriage. So there could be a counterpart here a sacred divine that you're aligning to because this is my marriage and celebration cards. So I wanted to show you that before we start, but let's get a monology card out for you because of this lunar eclipse that's happening in the sign of Sagittarius. Big, big changes. You got on the 17th of May, Venus conjuncting the North Node in Gemini. It's the beginning of the eclipse season of what you came here to do, your divine life purpose. Let's call on the energies of the feminine energy, the luna, the moon. Meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. Well, isn't that funny? So we have a Pisces energy here. For you that have Pisces moon, or your person is a Pisces, Jupiter, your ruler Sagittarius is in Pisces right now. All you need to do is stay in meditation daily, positive affirmations, contemplate here because your wishes and desires are coming in here. I also just saw the energy of the hermit. You could have a Virgo here of, of significance. <clears throat> You're someone here who's lived lifetimes. You're someone here who's a wise seer. You're a wise soul. A lot of you here are taking on your spiritual path here of the hermit. That means you've been in hermit stage. You've been in the sacred place and you've been meditating here. 
The energy of conclusions are within reach. The full moon eclipse. There you go. You will reach a conclusion by the end of May here. The eclipse is going to run out for six month cycle here. So from now to October, you're looking at a cycle here where conclusions are coming in for you. That means you've already made a choice here. You're definitely, you're contemplating, you're meditating about this choice that you're making. You're going within here. You're going through introspection. You're soul searching right now. You got the energy of the hermit here. Making a very wise choice. You are good enough for moon and Virgo. Yeah, I was feeling Virgo. So we got a Virgo moon here for someone here that's resonating with this energy. So you are good enough. It's time to nurture yourself. It's time here for you to give to yourself self-healing that brings in self-growth, that brings in that expansion here with this Virgo energy. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm still getting better also here. So it's about your health also. I'm recovering from a sinus infection that I had that was really bad. And I, I went through the whole nine year, yards with the COVID lockdown. I was like free for two days and then got locked back down because someone nearby or somebody related was, you know, came up positive. So a lot of lockdowns, a lot of pulled back energy going within here. You've been in that sacred place here. So let's see what's going on, Sag. Let's get these cards going here. Where's my Sagittarius at? What's their energy right now, Spirit? What's their energy for me? Mid-May 2021, Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Love offer here. Knight in Shining Armor here. This is a love offer. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here of significance. The situation. This is that painful heartache, that separation. Three of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. <clears throat> Pardon me once again. I have the energy of a heartbreak here, a heartache. There was a deep hurt here is what I feel. What's unseen that you don't see coming towards you in the near future? You're at a crossroads, two of swords. This is letting me know there's not, a, there's not an energy of moving on here. What you don't see is that someone is not moving on from you. There's a stagnant energy. It's creating a crossroads, two of swords. Big choice needs to be made here. There's a decision coming towards you here where you're going to need to trust your intuition, Sagittarius. It's like you already moved out of the troubled waters. They're behind you now. You need to trust your intuition, even though you can't see eye to eye with this person. This person's not seeing that there's an offer coming towards them here. Someone is at a crossroads with you. What's the challenge or the obstacle of this connection? What's the challenge or the obstacle of this connection? We got two of swords, three of swords. Okay, these cards flew out. <coughs> the challenge is your happiness. Ten of cups, king of wands, and king of pentacles. I have two kings here. There could be a third party situation with the three of cups. Is the challenge of what really brings you in this happiness. Because on this hand, Sagittarius, this is you. Natural born leader, fired up, passionate. Hey, you could have anything you want, VIP here. You're all VIP here, Sagittarius. The challenge is, is that you need to choose. You have a choice of who brings you in this happiness. On this hand, you're leading here with someone that you like keeping your options open. You see that Seven of Cups, it's right there. Pisces and Neptune energy. You like to have your options. You like to, you like the attraction of how people are looking at you. You're you're you have an aura here. You're definitely glowing here. You're lighting up here. This Ten of Cups is what you have your eye on. This prize here. Someone here is the one you want to commit to. There is someone here that you want a commitment. You want a foundation with this person, King of Pentacles. You're doing real good here. I see my Sagittarius that what's going on right now is you're bossing up here. You have a lot of energy where you're in the public eye here. 
You're doing financially well and spiritually well here. You got the energy here of what brings you in true happiness. You see happily ever after here with someone, Sagittarius. You want to have a family with this person. For some of you, you could have a family with this person. Ten of Cups. What do you do? Because what's at stake here is your happiness. This is a committed offer here. Now with the King of Wands, like I say here, this is someone here that you could be feeling that you want to keep your options open. You like all this attention. You have definitely, you're in the vibration of you are, whether you're a male or a female, you are the shining knight in armor. You're the love, uh, you got the love potion going on here. This is the vibration of charming right now. You're quite charming. There's an energy here of having your options open. But eight of wands, somebody's coming in to quickly here to communicate. Someone's traveling, could be traveling, could be um, emails coming at you here, love messages, Cupid's arrows coming towards you here is what I see. You got seven, seven in my hand and I got five swords on this hand. Here's the conflict. This brings in conflict. Someone here that can't move on from you. Someone's in the two of swords. They're at a crossroads with you. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. What I see here is somebody here, as you walk away and you move on, this person doesn't want to let you go. It's a fight to win you at all costs here, is what I feel. I feel this person here that you're dealing with. Okay. Let's see what the advice is from the Holy Spirit. What is the advice from Spirit for my Sagittarius in love? This card. Four of Cups here. Not missing this opportunity here. Because there's an energy here of no, I've been there, done that. I am not interested in this offer. Four of Cups. Someone here that's getting let down is what I feel. You're not interested in someone here. One more, yeah. You want to present this new beginning here, Page of Pentacles. There's a fresh new start here, something you manifested with the Page of Pentacles is what I feel. So definitely my Sagittarius wants to let go of someone here, Tower. You're definitely saying letting go. You're letting go, there's a breakup here. This is the change, Mars and Scorpio energy here with the Tower, bringing in a change, bringing in a sudden revelation here because you're ending a situation here is what I feel. I feel the outcome is what's the outcome of this reading? Divine timing. You want a whole new beginning, Sagittarius. You are taking off. You're making a big, bold change. You're dressing for the occasion. You're out with the old wardrobe, in with the new wardrobe. This is my Sagittarius here. Embracing the unknown and being adventurous. It's like you're redoing your hair, you're redoing your clothes. This is divine timing here for you, Sagittarius. There's a new beginning here that you're starting. Let's see what your person is. How's your person feeling about you? Take off. They're ready to take a leap of faith and go forward with the Aries energy. Your person could have Aries, Uranus energy. Nothing, nothing is going to stop your person, is what I feel. They're ready for a leap. They're ready to risk it all for you, Sagittarius. I feel at the bottom of the deck, this is them coming. They're coming towards you here. Your person can hardly breathe, is what I'm feeling here. Eight of Wands. This is Cupid's arrows. They're traveling to you. For some of them, they're at a distance from you. This person's ready to start over. They're ready to start a fresh new start, is what I feel. Seven of Cups. They're thinking about this, of how they can come towards you here. Seven of Cups is, is them knowing that you have options. Um, Seven of Cups is also the energy here of fantasy, wishful thinking, imagining you, fantasizing about you here, Sagittarius. Five of Swords, they can't let you go here. Even though there was conflict, there was chaos here with the Five of Swords here. It's got the energy here of disagreements, winning you. Um, definitely not letting go, Seven of Swords. They know they did you wrong, Sagittarius. They know they did you wrong. 
this was the energy of them were shady, sneaky. Something that they did here where they could have lied, they could have cheated. They could have had options. Someone on the side here is what I feel. And the Seven of Swords was you were in a commitment with this person, Queen of Pentacles. You were very devoted to them. The Queen of Pentacles was somebody here that was definitely had a foundation with you. There was something that you had invested with this person. And what I feel was they hurt you here. There was definitely an energy. Yeah. And now they're regretting what they did. Five of Cups. They're in deep regret. They're a deep emotional loss here over you is what I feel. So I feel with that Three of Swords of what the situation is. This is the obstacle. Your challenge for me is can you give this person another chance? And if not, you're moving on here. You're saying no to somebody here in May. You're making a decision is what I feel. You made a choice and the changes are now. There's a big change here because you're about to be very bold here and make a commitment because you got the energy here of an imbalance between choices. I feel you have options in love also, Sagittarius. <coughs> Pardon me. So let's get the epiphany from Serendipity Tarot on YouTube. You can find this deck. And let's get these cards moving. Let's see what the epiphany is for my Sagittarius. What is this lunar eclipse bringing in? Conclusions are within reach. Is what I feel here. We are divine counterparts. We are divine counterparts. Your person here and you have a, a very strong connection, a very strong soul tie, a bond. And this is why you're seeing Ten of Cups. This was somebody here, like I feel, let me show you something, Sagittarius. You were in a commitment with this person already here for a lot of you. This was a partner. This was an ex-partner. You had plans with this person. You saw happily ever after. And then there became a breakup here. And this person did you wrong. There was something here that caused the breakup, a tower moment. And you've been telling this person, I'm not interested. I'm not going to do it. But yet, you could have been still sneaking around seeing this person here. This is someone here that you're fired up, your passion. I feel you have a passionate connection with this person still. But there's someone here because you have choices in love. You moved on when you broke up with this person. You have a new partner with you. There's a new partner with you is what I feel. But you're still in the situation of heartache. There's still a pain in the heart here. You're still at a crossroads in May. And you need to make this change. I feel this is the big change. Divine timing is here. I feel that this is forgiving and learning. I feel that you, Spirit is saying and advising, this is another opportunity, a missed opportunity with this person to forgive and learn and to reconnect on this connection, to not miss this opportunity that's coming at you here. Five of Cups is also here with a, something here that's definitely a loss, a regret. No more bad decisions here, Sagittarius. No more bad decisions. The road to recovery, absolutely, is what I feel. This is moving you to the road of recovery towards June where you have clarity going into Mercury season, especially from May 20th when the sun enters uh, Gemini. This is mutable energy, ready to make these changes. Yep, it's just so complicated. It's complicated between the choices that you have to make right now. Planning for the future. Travel is good for the soul, Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see what your person is thinking with the unrevealed thoughts and secrets. How is your person feeling? Yeah, your person's ready to take a leap. And you know this. You know your person will take you back. You know they're ready. I took advantage of you. Yeah, they took advantage of you in the past. You occupy every thought of mine. Yeah, they can't get you off of their mind. They're willing to fight for you. They're willing to do whatever it takes to come back to this connection. 
I am a lost soul without you. Mm hmm. I know I let you down in the past. Never felt anything like this before. They are coming up as the Queen of Pentacles still here because they're still got the nurturing energy. They are very sincere. They're coming in sincere. They are not, like it says here, there's definitely no more bad decisions for them. They did something young and foolish. They acted foolish in the past. And it's my heart is heavy. When they walked away from you, they walked away from you with a heavy heart. They knew that there was, they knew that it was painful on both ends. I have a hard exterior. They may look like this, like this rough, tough person from the outside, like they're, like they're okay and they're handling it well. And they look beautiful on the outside, but in inner emotionally, this person is at a deep regret, deep sorrow without you. Page of Cups. They're coming in with a sincere love offer, a genuine love offer. And I fell with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they want to talk. This is straightforward communication, letting you know how they feel, letting you know they want to come in to bring in justice, to tell you the truth in a situation to bring in fairness is what I feel. <laughs> okay. So Sagittarius, that is what I have for you, for me. Going into June, we will come up with that one shortly for you here. But there's a decision on the table for me. So I want to thank you all. I'm sending you tons of positive energy, love and light. And thank you, Sagittarius, for joining me. We'll see you soon. Be blessed.